should check out your new videos every day. Yeah, you should. Yeah, it should help you growing your view. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Even if, even if it's only one view. What? What are you doing? I'm I'm checking my lips. So so how come how come you don't how come you don't get into investing though? Investing I uh, like property or like gold or I don't know. You forgot, or, you forgot I have two houses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you got two houses, that's true. I I like I like to own houses and stuff one day. It's really expensive though. You have a condo. What else you want? About a bungalow? I wanna own uh, I wanna own land. Uh but it, in rural, you know what rural is? Yeah. So and maybe in east coast of Canada and in rural places I'd like to own acres. You know what acres is? I know. Okay. <laughs> I can't think I I I I don't finish high school. <laughs> this show. <laughs> we did but, the same thing here and there. My, my God, my God. <laughs> yeah, help me, God. I want to kill this person right now. <laughs> Yeah, you can be a great teacher for investment, I think. Yep. What, what is that? My, this one? Yeah. It's like my marijuana. You don't like marijuana. You, you didn't do it when you were in uh, Netherlands. I want to try, but I, I don't know what's stopping me. I don't know. You, your your country your country because I'm not 20, no 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 because I'm not twenties anymore. That's why when you're in your twenties, you want to try everything. No, I'm not twenty in my twenties. Yeah, anymore. but yeah, but you can have uh, medical like CBD and uh, uh, THC because because uh, hemp CBD is gonna be around the globe. What is that? What what is that? Well, I forgot. there's the cannabis plant, which has uh, got lots of THC, but hemp is is the male, and it has 0.3% of THC, and it's got CBD. So, uh, I think, I, be I believe that companies such as Coca-Cola, they're going to have CBD drinks it, within, like, the next few years. It's not dangerous for health? No, it's non psychoactive. What is psychoactive? Sometimes you're psycho? Sometimes you're smart. I think you're also so smart, I think. Because uh, you always you always uh say words I never heard before. Yeah. Just read. My god, you sp you, you, you help me with my vocabulary. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. ca cannabis uh no the cbd is non-psychoactive so it doesn't it doesn't really like get into your head or whatever the same way it's just more oh. for uh relaxing and for oh, it's called psychoactive 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 it's, it's, it's not it's not psychoactive oh. okay Psychoactive. What yeah. does that mean? Well, the THC it gets into your brain and it relaxes okay, you, okay, 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 and, okay. and it gets you all high. Right. But the the CBD doesn't. So. Okay. 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 Got it. I'm fast learning. I know I'm fast learner. Yeah. Because your country, your country in Malaysia. Doesn't it have a medical program? No, no. Yeah, yeah, it, it they, does. It does. It, it was, they they want to, but 
the opposition opposition party did not agree. Oh yeah. Well, like we have, I think the we have unstable political situation here right now. Oh yeah. Why you say that? Because for the first time in 60 years, we changed government. The same government ruled this country for 60 years, and the what is what is that? And the latest general election, the opposition win for the first time. So they change lots of they change a lot of things. So some of the ministers they want like what you said the for for help. What is that? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. In in hell, I didn't want to introduce this, but not many agree with them. Yeah. Well, USA, USA is becoming uh, pretty, pretty close to legalizing it because. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I think. That's it. They want to plant. Yeah. You think if you think if USA medical purpose for medical purpose, just that. Uh no, no, it's recreational legal through a lot of states, but it's just not uh, federally legal. So federally already it has a, a le legality, it's illegal, but the states, there it's legal in a lot of states. For some In states, Canada? Canada's fully legal all, all across Canada, recreational and medical. But in USA, some states are medical and some states are recreational. And some are both. I I understand medical, but recreational is like in in Amsterdam. Yeah. So so these uh, these companies, these big companies, they have uh, stores all all over. So you know California very well. Um, I know that, but I've never been there. Yeah. So California has lots of. Uh, uh, states, I mean, lots of places where you can just go in and you can get cannabis. Mm. And, and, and then you can do the, the CBD as well. Now, now that USA is legalizing the, the CBD in the hemp, then you can go, uh, you can go to big box stores. I'm talking Walmart and, uh, well, I don't know about Walmart, but the big stores, that are almost as big as Walmart. You can you can buy them at, uh, at now. So it's pretty crazy that the biggest stores you can just get CBD. But in in Canada, we have it's federally legal, but you can't go to any store and just pick up uh, the hemp CBD. So how to get it? <laughs> it's messed up. It's really hard to get it. You have to get it like. You have to get it illegally, pretty much, like through the dark web, or um, I I think some companies might have they might get some type of license where they can uh, sell it soon, but you're not going to be able to uh, buy it from just a, a store. You have to buy it. I don't know. It's going to be weird. Canada is really behind the. How you get yours? Pardon? How you get yours? How you get yours? Uh, I just get cannabis, but it's it's not the hemp, and I, I get I get it from uh, uh, from the online store. We don't have any stores in my town where you can get, get cannabis. You okay? Uh, I'm okay. <coughs> and. Uh, there's there's some stores in my province, but not that many stores. Like the town I'm in, you can't you can't get it. There used to be illegal stores, and you could get it in my town as a medical patient. But 
I think by the summer or the fall, there's going to be maybe one or two stores like nearby within uh, like probably one or two in my town and then maybe a few in the town next door, which is like 30 minutes away. But it's pretty slow. You just pretty much have to get it online. You tell me you're a medical patient. What does that mean? Uh, it just means I can I can order online from uh, these from the the company, and uh, yeah, before you couldn't you couldn't get uh, legal weed uh, until October seventeenth. It was just better. You can get it easily. You can get it easily compared to normal person like me. Yeah. I, I can get it through medical or recreational, but I uh, I haven't bought any medical stuff in a while. And actually, the recreational stuff is actually better uh, because, for example, I'm talking about CBD as well, that non-psychoactive. It's better to get it through the recreational than it is to get it through um, uh, the medical because this company, Aurora, has... Uh, CBD capsules that I don't have to smoke the cannabis and uh, I can get those I'm I became a patient with Aurora but you can't get the, the, the capsules online as a medical patient but you can get them <clears throat> as a recreational patient it's really messed up <laughs> mm. yeah What do, you, what do you think of that? Do you think do you think that if if USA becomes uh, legal, that Malaysia will end up becoming legal as well? I'm not sure because I don't think we have. Uh, not to say that. I think Malaysia doesn't need it. What do you mean? People here, the people here doesn't need doesn't need weed. Why not? It's, it's, got, a, it's, it's got, a Muslim. It is oh again the culture. Yeah, that's politics. true. So yeah, that that that. I think it will be never legalized in Malaysia. Never. Interesting. It's just the. Just the, uh, I think Asian country, most Asian countries will never agree because well, they see no, they see no importance of, maybe for medical, yes, not recreation. What, what, is, what is that word? Recreation? Rec rec recreational. <laughs> recreational, yes. Well, I have. You heard. <laughs> <laughs> I think recreational, rec, rec, no, but for medical, maybe they will. Maybe Malaysia will do something about that, maybe. Yeah. But I think they will do some research first before they do it because they need to know the impact of the society here yeah i think what i what i think is because germany is and all these other countries such as luxembourg and uh different countries in the world are slowly becoming mm -hmm. coming medical i don't have the list but there's like some countries that are medical but they're not they're not recreational. The only countries that are recreational are Canada, USA, and Uruguay. Even though USA is federally illegal, but all the states. Why not? Why not Netherlands? Why Netherlands not on the list? Uh, because it's not it's not uh, well I guess they're on the list, but I don't know they're. I don't think they're federally legal. They're the, they're like same as uh, maybe Canada. I mean, as USA, they're same as USA, but I don't know enough about Netherlands to to uh, make a comment on that. Hmm. 
What? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, but in in Europe though, I think that they're they're gonna be in in Switzerland. You can get uh, hemp cigarettes that are up to one percent THC. You can smoke them, and it's it's uh, up to one percent THC. It's the same as buying uh, cigarettes in Switzerland, but they, you can't get uh, uh, the the cannabis. What do you what do you think of that? Trying to process process things you said. <laughs> it's too academic for me. <laughs> <laughs> you like a <laughs> cannabis lecturer, <laughs> and I'm a student, yeah. cannabis student. <laughs> yeah, you you are a cannabis student from Malaysia. Yeah, and you are and you are a lecturer, a cannabis lecturer from Canada. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least you know what you what you said. You have good knowledge on that. Yeah. What are you What are you doing? Do you got school today? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. My kids. <laughs> They're like the worst. Are you They're like the worst teacher in the world. <laughs> are you laughing? Because you should be with their kids. No, no. He, he's ha he had piano lessons, so i just waiting here. Oh, for your kids. For your kids, not like at school. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're waiting for your, for your kids at piano lesson. I see. Do you, do you have a piano? <laughs> I, I, I had a piano once. It was pretty crazy. Piano? You have the piano, the piano? Yeah. At your home? Yeah. You can play? You can play? Not anymore, but I was I was learning like I, I had a teacher and I was <laughs> but I wasn't very good, but I did a bit. I I actually played with a piano because at a college I was at I was messing around but it was it was so violent you know how we were just like going super loud and like make like really loud like obnoxious and I was I, I was messing around with piano such as that and sometimes in in communities they they leave a piano around uh, and then you just like mess around with it mm. but I'm not good if at it. If he still wants to learn, I let him. If he don't, then I stop. I stop sending him to this lesson. Yeah, that's true. He still wants to do it. <clears throat> it's my friend. My friend teaching him. Oh, I see. My friend is the, my friend is the teacher. She owns the shop. So she always give extra time for my kid. Always give extra. You look, you look healthy today. <laughs> you have enough sleep. <laughs> ah, I slept a lot today. Oh, like there's something, there's something different about your cam. I got you. You uh, using what? Yeah, it it looks like more. Uh, how to say that? It's it's very clear. Yeah, I got a I got a new webcam. It actually it comes with a microphone on it too, so I don't. Have your to... your face looks so HD. <laughs> you look so HD. I'm HD. Yeah, and you look healthy. <laughs> maybe you have enough sleep. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I gotta go to sleep soon. Not not this minute, but I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, I try to call you. I think I try to. <clears throat> I try to call you around 10 a.m. here. 
nine or ten, but you maybe you was asleep at that time. Uh, I was out. I don't know, or maybe I was sleeping. I don't remember. Cause what what time would that be here? Like how many hours ago did you try calling me? <clears throat> I don't know. You you. I saw you miss call, and after a few like maybe. 10, 20 minutes, I try to call you back, but you, you're you not available. <laughs> available? It's not available. I mean, it's not available. Call yeah. me back. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a call when you're available. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. Well, well you know, the thing with, with Asia, though, is China. China grows a lot of hemp. You know that? They, they grow a what lot of China? China grows a lot of hemp. What's that? The the male part of the cannabis. Mm, I don't know. No, China does. They grow a lot of hemp. And uh, but they use it because because with hemp, you can use it for industrial things. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Rope and uh, just different types of stuff they can use it for. So mm. China, China grows it. Uh, USA, they made it illegal for hemp. Uh, th I think it was like 1933, I believe. They prohibition it or something. I, I can't remember. Maybe it was the 70s. I don't know the exact history. But the reason for it, them doing it was because, they, I don't know, they wanted to go after people for cannabis. They were all against it. And so in the last, because Canada legalized medical, then uh, USA started revolting and then they become in uh, medical as well. But I think Canada, because Canada was next door, then USA started to follow. So. Yeah. But, but the, the thing with it is, is there's so Canada much. And you Canada and USA are best friends. No. Not yeah, not, no. Not, not uh not Trudeau. Uh Tr Trudeau is not best buddies with uh uh Trump. Trump Trump thinks he's stupid. But what? No, Trump Trump thinks he's stupid. He thinks our president's stupid. Good. And I, I, my my I, prime minister hates Trump so much. I think I think all the world does, except maybe a few countries, because USA is too strong. Their dollar is way too strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they so, control the, <clears throat> they control the economy. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't really. They have so much power. That's why. I was just mm. I was just looking at the the gold reserves some of these countries have USA has the most but then uh, Germany has the second most gold and so if if they want and Russia Russia's going and they're uh, getting rid of US money and they're turning it into gold so I don't know it's pretty interesting these countries are just like fuck you we're, we're why Canada, why Canada not, why Canada is not stronger than USA. You, your, your country is so big. Uh, cause our country is weak. We just, we just, uh, we have a lot of oil reserves, but then we just give it away to countries for so cheap. So, our just the way our prime ministers screw us, so our country's not very, very rich. I think. <laughs> yeah. There's that's why, in our country, we have all the big cities. Now mm -hmm. the, the people that are wealthy are from people from other countries because they come over here and they buy homes, and now mm -hmm. homes are really expensive in cities. 
And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Does, does that stuff happen in, in Malaysia? The same. W what people are coming over to Malaysia? Mm, not much. <clears throat> we only have like... Mm, what do you mean? We have foreign workers from poor countries coming in like Indonesia, neighboring countries, just that. For what? To to, to live and work or, or do they have a lot of money? Mm, they don't reach. They just live and work here. Oh, yeah. Well, we have that too. But in the last 10 years, we've had a lot of people coming over from Hong Kong who have a lot of money. And then they come here and... And then all the real estate gets really expensive because uh, they can spend tons of money because and Canadian people don't have the same amount of money. So uh -huh. then, for example, my parents house when they bought it was four hundred fifty thousand dollars in around uh -huh. 1998. And then in in 2010 or something, it was. I mean, 2015 or something like that, they were worth about 1.5 million probably. Well, my parents sold their house for about $800,000 and because around in 2013, but like a couple of years after, then it doubled in prices. And so there's so, yeah. there's so many houses that are, uh, there's so much money. And, and the, there's people you have to put so much money down on a house that's like over a million dollars. Like you got to put down probably like 20%. So you need to put down $300,000 for a 1.20% in Canada. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think, I think you got it. It's, it's 10% here. Yeah. I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but, uh, but whatever percent is too much. Yeah. Well, it doesn't really matter if it's even 20%. It's just the fact that one million dollars is, is like I don't know, seven thousand dollars or I don't know, like it's like, let me think. Yeah, it's probably like five thousand dollars a month in mortgage, like five to six thousand. Five to six thousand dollars. God. In mortgage. It's too, too much. Yeah, it's crazy. That's why, that's why all our country, uh, the people who are young, such as myself, were really poor. We're, we're why? <laughs> because the housing is so expensive that yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we become poor. We can't, we're, we're not like, we don't own these houses. So, and, but it, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. Mm. But you own a condo. Yeah, I own a condo, right? But it, it took me a long time to own this condo. I, uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, the thing is, I mean, I could have, I had money when I was really young. But I didn't invest in into it because the thing is, you need to you need to uh, get approved for a mortgage, right? So, if mm -hmm. if, if they're gonna give you five thousand dollars or like say like fifteen hundred dollars, <throat> you would have to prove that you make a certain amount of money for them to uh, approve you. And I was like, I don't make enough money when I was like twenty years old or something like that. Or I didn't yeah. I didn't want to have to be like stuck with oh I gotta pay this. Cause then I wouldn't be able to work on getting a career or anything like that because I would, I would have to work all the time. And so mm -hmm. I, I just, I didn't do it, but I would have more money if I did it that way. It, even if I made, mm -hmm. even if I made less money, because for example, I probably could have bought a condo when I graduated high school. I don't think, I don't think we all have afford to buy anything when we are 20. It's fresh out from college. No, no, but like, no, but I had a lot of money. I had the most money when I was 
like other than now in the last like year and a bit I had the most amount of money because I saved so much money as a teenager and I I were I lived with my par parents for a couple of years and I saved like everything I had about uh close to about eight eighty thousand ringgits yeah so I I could have bought a condo like for example for maybe a hundred sixty thousand Canadian dollars so that's like close to five hundred thousand ringgits and I put down eighty thousand dollars but then it's like I would be so tight and I didn't have a full-time job at that time but if I did have a full yeah. if I did have a full-time job and I paid for that then it would be uh, I would be able to sell that in the last few years for about uh, 1.3 million ringgits and banks and banks banks loan in Malaysia are very strict they are very, very, very strict. What Why do you think that is? Why do you think they're so strict in, in Malaysia? Is it because it's a Malaysian? Of course, because it, they don't want people, number one, they don't want people to have so, 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 they don't want people here to, to have debt more than they, uh, how to say that? Then they can pay. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's so it. In in Canada and USA, it's like the complete opposite. They you'll go in you'll mm. you'll go into a bank and you'll want to get a line of credit or like you want to up your line of credit, and they'll say, "Oh, here's a ten thousand uh, dollar credit card, which is like thirty thousand uh, ringgits." They'll they'll uh -huh. but it's got twenty five percent interest. Uh, per, and they'll, they'll just like hand it to you like you'll, you'll go to a Walmart and they'll offer you a $10,000 credit card I'm sure if I if I accepted every credit card right now I, mm. and I and I didn't spend a dime I could I'd probably have uh, I don't know like $200,000 or like $600,000 in in ringgits that I could uh, use, that I could use on a credit card. <laughs> credit card is credit card is good, but uh, if you are overspending people, then don't have a credit card. I thought they I thought they don't give you credit cards in your country, really. Mm, of course they did. <clears throat> I have, but I thought you said they're strict, though. On giving you out credit cards. Yeah, they are. It's like they <clears throat> they they didn't just simply give any anybody's card credit card because they afraid you cannot afford to pay the monthly. Do you think that there's a lot of people that can afford to pay? They can, but. Uh, that's that's what I tell you. Like the bank here, they have really strict rules about loans, debts, and everything. Do you think that's because it's a Muslim country? I don't know. I think Malaysia doesn't know how to manage money. My prime minister say that <laughs> we are very bad managing money, <laughs> debt, and everything. What, what is your? Ah, even what is a good like? What what are the industries in your country that uh, have people that are really wealthy in? Business. What kind of businesses? Is there is there like is there a mining sector or is there uh? Is there oil? Yes, oil. I need to go now. Okay, bye. I'll call you back. Okay, bye.